No, bez nisem bil. Nič se? Ne, v hradni zad? Pa se da nas v glede. Zvorno? I just push you there, close the door. You stay there. You die, you die. I watch a lot of fights, his opponent and... The, the coach come off a really good game plan, so I felt ready for him. He was training hard, you know, but now 100% he's going to put him, himself in the best place of this best performance, so he's ready to, to put the show on. 93.5 for Xavier, he makes weight. Bring this guy! Ooh. Oh, no. No, no, no. Look, I feel his power. Up. Tomorrow you will see what I do with him. I can tell you, maybe first round I want to punch his head. I win or I'm dead tomorrow. Four liters. I can sleep at night, brother. Always, I lay in the bed and then I stand up, go for pissing, bro. Six or seven times. I sleep. Maybe four or five hours, and that's it. But that's it's cool for me, it's easy. I drive with the train from Ringsburg to Munich, and then we fly. It's better, one hour flight. Yeah. Saturday night, a big show, bro. Holy shit, man. Oh! What I'm gonna do with this guy? Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Ich habe jetzt circa ja, in der Woche jetzt vier Kilo schon abgenommen vier. und jetzt noch äh, Weightcut machen, nochmal sechs, sagen wir mal so. Und dann jetzt gehe ich in die Sauna, ein bisschen anschwitzen heute, äh, drei, vier Kilo machen und den Rest dann morgen früh in der, in der Badewanne. Je nachdem, wie viele ich heute mache, ähm, muss ich dann dementsprechend in der Früh aufstehen und äh, dann anfangen in der Badewanne mein Gewicht zu machen. Ja, mir geht's gut. Ähm, jetzt noch entspannen. Später wird angefangen mit dem Weightcut. Morgen ist die Waage. Morgen früh. Fühlt man sich immer angespannt und nervös. Das ist ganz normal. Wäre unnormal, wenn ich sagen würde, ist alles wie immer. Ähm, jetzt ist noch relativ entspannt, aber spätestens am Kampftag selber ist man schon immer angespannt. Mir ist auch egal, was er erwartet. Interessant, dass er das sagt. Gut zu wissen. <lacht> Gut zu wissen. Und ich habe sowieso meinen Plan und den werde ich durchziehen. Also ein Fünf-Runden-Kampf, das ist jetzt auch das erste Mal für mich. Ähm, äh, mal sehen, wie es wird. Aber ich habe mich dementsprechend darauf vorbereitet. Wir haben immer fünf Runden äh, Sparring gemacht und ich bin fit. I'm Alex too. So I'm a videographer traveling around with Alex. It will be fast. And he will win. Yes, yeah. Who is there? What's his name? Hassan. Uh, this stupid guy, Hassan. <laughs> the Pikachu one. The guy, uh, I don't speak, huh? No, I'm business with it. Nitsa? Yeah, relax. What happened to that? I just push you there, uh, close the door, you stay there, you die, you die, <laughs> nobody cares. The teeth go brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Nach dem Schattenboxen wird er nochmal für weitere 20 Minuten aufs Laufband gehen. Alex macht allgemein nicht allzu viel Gewicht, ähm, weil er sich natürlich auch fitter fühlen möchte im Kampf und legt natürlich viel mehr Fokus darauf, dass er sich einfach all im Allgemeinen fit fühlt. It's the part of it. It's not always fun, you know. Next month is my time, so. Sanda, že strašne moc ľudí v komentároch vlastne písalo, že toto je najlepšia karta akože za posledný rok alebo za dlhú dobu, čo sa možno na prvý pohľad nezdá, ale keď sa človek pozrie, tak je to fakt jeden zápas a to je mu úplne dielo. Tip Sport Game Changer, to je niečo, na čo sa ja brutálne teším. Hlavný zápas, ten príbeh tej popolušky Pala Langera je podľa mňa, že úplný strop a, a skrytý zápas je asi Rony Paradiser. A Rony už dlho, dlhšie nezápasil, a je vlastne tiež trochu taký prehliadaný, ale je to obrovský talent. A ja mu držím palce, že konečne sa zase posunie bližšie k tomu, aby šahal na ten titul a vlastne sa vrátil na spráť úplne najvyššie priečky. Takže to si myslím, že bude to akože tie najväčšie highlighty. A až ženy, ženy, konečne ženský zápas. Jo. Today he wake up, he take the everything five on the ground, there's nothing, he's chilling, he don't listen. He was helping somebody else. So. Are you mad at him a little bit? Like Yes. Definitely yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like yesterday we lose weight and then two hours we lose weight and then he went to sleep. He had like every day he can do whatever he wants. Actually it was easy and then he had like 500 gram but he was too light on it he was walking around chilling not listening and now it's maybe he's not gonna get the weight I'm not sure but he was like finish 500 gram like from yesterday he only need to be 500 but this guy sometimes he don't listen that's the problem today in the morning I do this with uh, Lozen and um, with Hassan we do this they push me and now we're done It's when I'm alone, I have no push and I'm no motivated, you know. But with them, they push me, I have motivation. I do this. <laughs> um, I think it's going to be a tough fight with both of us pushing towards the end. But I, I'm hoping I'll have some nice shots before the end of the time to get him out of there. I watch a lot of fights, uh, his opponent and... The, the coach coming for a really good game plan, so I felt ready. He was training hard, you know, but now at 100% he's gonna put him himself in the best place with his best performance, so he's ready to, to put the show on. 93.5 for Javier, he makes weight. That light heavyweight contest. The weight cut was uh, good, but not so schwer as expected. Äh, gestern habe ich schon ein paar Kilo rausgemacht und heute Morgen muss ich noch äh, drei oder vier Kilo rausmachen. Und, okay, hat gepasst. Ganz normal. I'm always excited, obviously, this kind of gives me my chance to get back into the game changer. Obviously, we've had to pull out of it from injury and stuff last time, obviously, it was devastating. But um, hopefully, if, if I have to go three rounds, I'll, I'll be able to go three rounds. But, you know, I'll be looking for some type of finish, whether it'll be a, a TKO or a submission. Mikhailidis, representing EFL, e, EFL MMA in Athens. 77.5 for Andreas Mikhailidis, the Spartan makes weight. I'm ready for everything. I'm really in a good shape. I'm, I'm, I'm always ready, and yeah, I can, I can say that I, tomorrow I, I want to show something new and maybe some new stuff. And uh, but first of all, I want to do a great fight for the for the people and uh, and win the fight that's most important for me my goal is the octagon belt and uh, this is my my plan to do here because of that i'm here this is my motivation this is for the interim light heavyweight title let's welcome first the scales from germany alexander ironside popek alexander popek 
92.9 under the 93 limit there for the championship race. Yeah. There we go, a smile on your face at last. There we are. Jetzt. Ja, die Waage ist vorbei, aber ich fühle mich sehr gut. Ich bin in einem guten Spirit. Und ähm, heute Nachmittag ist die offizielle Waage. Da haben wir dann den Stern. Das ist immer eine coole Sache, so eine gute Energy. Bravo, ich wünsche dir einen guten Fight. Es wird ein sehr harter Fight für dich auf jeden Fall. Und let's go. Das Viertelfinale der mit einer Million Euro geförderten MMA Champions League geht weiter. Düsseldorf, Hassan, Schaban! Look, I feel his power. Tomorrow you will see what I do with him. I can tell you, maybe first round I want to punch his head. I win or I'm dead tomorrow. He was scary. Really, I see this in his eyes. He was scary. He was starting to talk with me like like the high, you know. And and, and that that that's the thing. Because he, he's uh he's scary. And his eyes was like he looked me and looked down looked there and then looked to me again. He was really scary. But I kill him tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'm ready, man. I'm ready. This card is kind of like a sleeper card because not many people have got their eyes on it. They got the Stranitz are coming up. We've just had the Prague card, Bratislava. But this one's got Anton Ratic, former KSW champion. Get Magard called him out. Magard was the one that says, I want that guy next. But he's got Nuno Costa, who is 15 2 and 1, I believe. Tough Brazilian, so that's a great fight. Andrew Fisher from the UK, from the northeast in the UK, is coming, taking on Ronald Paradisa. And Fisher is so experienced. I've stopped trying to predict the game changer fights because they are, I'm just enjoying them. Like you look at the quality of the fights going through, you think about we know what's going to happen next. Mikolides or Grabinski will face Glissman. Glissman who's just come off the back of that inverted Oma Plata victory. That is whoever faces him, that is a tough fight. And then you've got David Cosma waiting in the wings for either Christian Youngworth or you've got Bojan Milicicovic, right? So you've got the experience of Bojan, you've got this new wave of Christian the Celt Youngworth coming through. And uh, I'm just loving it, absolutely loving it. Die Kämpfer haben hier Gewicht gemacht und es geht um das Weiterkommen im Finale. O milion euro se neboje každý den. Myslím, že to není po sportovní stránce tak vyrovnaný, ale po té vyhypovanosti určitě. Jako spousta Němců věří, že Grabinský porazí Mihaly Dise. Což po vlastně sportovní stránce je, jako kdyby si řekl, že Baník porazí AS Dream, jako jo, skoro, nebo prostě něco takového. Takže jako teoreticky by se to nemělo vlastně jakoby stát a to samý Jungwirth versus Veličkovič, že ty rozdíly by tam měly být v neprospěch těch německých bojovníků, ale ta hala, ta atmosféra, to, jak oni to vnímají a to, jak si oni sami myslí a jsou přesvědčení, že by to mělo pro ně dopadnout, tak to to může změnit. Er ist bereit und wir werden morgen sehen, wer der Bessere ist. Ich habe nichts in seinen Augen äh, gesehen. Ja. Wir haben uns beide tief in die Augen geschaut. Fetten Applaus, Alex Ironside, Popek! Nochmal großen Applaus für unser Hauptevent, den Kampf um den Titel im Halbschwergewicht. Alexander Poppe gegen Pavo Langer.